Today I'm creating a gas can in SOLIDWORKS with the help of Power Surfacing. From the Power Surfacing tab, I'll choose Create Box. Set it to 10 by 6 by 8 and click OK. Switch to Control Mesh Display and then scale the top face in a bit. I'll select a ring of edges and from the right click menu, I'll choose Insert Loop and use the gizmo to increase it to two loops and right-click to finish the command. Using the A key with the triad, I'll extrude the two selected faces. Grab the front edge and pull it back to establish the spout area. In the back, I'll insert one more loop. And now I'll extrude using the A key again, then rotate to start forming the handle. To scale, I can switch to the local coordinate system. A few more extrudes, and it's time to bridge. Once again, right-clicking to finish. I'll drag a region to select, and then scale the handle area. With the added detail, the model has begun to look more like the control mesh, as you can see when I switch to Sub-D display mode. Inserting a couple more loops and using the pinch parameter defines the shape even more. Sub-Ds work best with an even layout. With the A key down over an edge, hovering allows me to preview the new loop, then click to create it. Switching to face selection, I'll do a couple of offset loops coupled with crease edge for 100% weighting. And then scale to finish the body of the gas can. Now I can convert and add my favorite SOLIDWORKS features to the new power body. The spout is easy. I'll create a sketch with a construction line, create a construction plane for a new sketch, and extrude a circle. Where the spout meets the body, I'll give it a big fillet. For the inset area, since I gave it creased or hard edges, I can add more fillets. and then add Shell and check the cutaway view to see the result. I've decided I needed to tweak the area in back of the handle, so I've gone back to edit mode and moved a few of the vertices. And I can convert again. So there you have it, a nice organic gas can created with the power body as the main feature. For information on the power surfacing add-in for SOLIDWORKS, please be sure to check out our website at www.npowersoftware.com.